And taking a closer look at the Baltimore mayoral primary, Sheila Dixon has several endorsements from current and former public safety leaders. City State's attorney Ivan Bates and Baltimore Sheriff Sam Cogan say Dixon would be a strong partner at City Hall. Former Deputy State Attorney General Theru Vignaraja is supporting Dixon after dropping out of the mayoral race. However, one of the top voices in the crime fight, the union representing Baltimore police, has stayed quiet so far. Fox 45's Rebecca Pryor is looking into why its leaders may not have picked a candidate and how a potential endorsement could shake up the race. Rebecca? Yeah, Kai, these last few weeks have been a back and forth battle, fighting over all of these endorsements. But again, the police union says they want no part of it. Hoping to change how crime is handled in Baltimore City. Some local law enforcement leaders pushing for a change inside City Hall. Baltimore City Sheriff. It seems like there's no interest uh, from City Hall, right, to, to, to work with me. And City State's Attorney. We just have two different philosophies in fighting crime. Both arguing Mayor Brandon Scott doesn't support the policies they need to get crime under control, and Sheila Dixon does. She is the only candidate for mayor that understands how much good a fully funded sheriff's office could do for the city. Mayor Dixon is the one person that I know will be a true partner for myself in the office of the state's attorney. But while they speak out, Baltimore's police union notably staying silent. Police union president Mike Mancuso claiming FOP3 has an endorsement process. We have a committee comprised of our members who interview candidates that accept our invitation. In the mayor's race, there was no agreement on a candidate to support. Meanwhile, I think the police union silence is conspicuous and it's telling. Former mayoral candidate Thruv Ignaraja, who recently dropped out of the race to support Dixon, believes that silence speaks volumes. I think an incumbent mayor comes to expect the endorsement from the partners that he's been working with. When they choose not to endorse, that sends a signal. And even without the police union weighing in, Vignaraja and legal expert Jeremy Eldridge saying Dixon's other endorsements still sends a clear message on where local law enforcement stands. They saw Brandon Scott being weak on crime during the lion's share of his term. They don't necessarily believe that it was the work that he did before Ivan Bates came in and Eric Barron came in that had anything to do with it. And I think they're listening to the elected officials that are actually responsible for making the changes now and will likely see a change in the mayoral office because of it. Only time will tell if that's true. Baltimore's mayoral primary is next Tuesday. Reporting live in Baltimore City, Rebecca Pryor, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.